Congratulations. Thank you. We, we believed, we knew that it's going to happen again. And you still have plenty of time to do, to arrest this race, to make it your own race, yeah? To win several times in Barcelona. Congratulations. Second time, yes. Thank you. Silke, a hand that did really great results in the past. Yes. And how did you decide to basket? Because usually when you have such a good bird with such good results, you keep it in the breeding loft. but. What did you feel to continue racing? Now, Silke was very good when she was uh, one year old, a yearling. But later, it was okay, but not super. She was 190 uh, from Barcelona. A year after that, 170 or so, I don't really know exactly. But uh, she was good, but not super. But uh, she handled good, and uh, every year she must go to Barcelona and Perpignan. But when she was young, a uh, yearling, yeah? yeah. She did three international Narbonne. Yes. And usually when you have a pigeon with such a good result, you don't keep it home? No, no, no. That's it. Uh, so young. And they must first they must do it for the second time, then they go to the breeding loft. One good result is not enough for young well, breeding loft. No. Uh -huh. So this is the philosophy of selecting the yes, pigeons. Yes. Some pigeons do it once and I I prefer pigs and do it twice. Twice or more. Uh -huh. Yes. This is the compartment of Silke. She's uh, sitting in her box with her youngster. She's so quiet. Second pen is out. Yesterday. Did you darken her? Yes. I darken her till uh, beginning of June. When you heard that it's Corona yes. and they stopped and yeah. all the, decided to All the year I don't darken, but this year I darkened till the beginning of June. That's why they have... Only one. Oh, oh. Yes. And how did you prepare it for this race? Um, I Something special. I'm curious also from the beginning of the year because people are curious yeah. to understand your system. When do you pair them? For how long do you keep them together? Do you separate them after that? I, I pair them very late because uh, of the Corona. We start later. We start the racing half May, I think so. And then uh, we uh, I, I uh, put them together, and uh, then she has a youngster and. For a good uh, stand for uh, Barcelona, I separate them for one week. I put uh, hands with, with the youngsters, and then I couple them uh, later. And so she was sitting on a young of eight days old. I basket her for Barcelona. I basket her every week for a race. The shortest was 100 km, and the longest was 400 km. Every week, a short race. Since May? Yes, since May. Maybe once I didn't bask her because they ha she has to lay an egg. And since then, every week, every week. the trainings, how do you do the training? Uh, the there? training, uh, they can fly out all day when the weather is good. And uh, in the evening, they have to train an hour by flag. And before Barcelona, did you train them somehow special, uh, uh, special method? Five days before uh, basking Barcelona, they have a race. Uh, I train them for 70 kilometers. I bring them away. Yeah. Only one day or one, every day? Nay, one, one time. One time from yeah. 70 kilometers. One time 70 kilometers. Four days. When you basketed them, she was your favorite or? No, when I handled them, and I, uh, she's, she's a very light hen, but for 
Barcelona she was, uh, the muscles were pumped up a little bit, so I thought, oh, she was beautiful, yes. And was she your favorite? No, or? not my favorite, because she won two times 150, 200 nationals, she wasn't my favorite, no. But she, she did it. Why she did it, I don't know. She was uh, fond of the, the young, young A days, yes. maybe that was the motivation, I don't know. And beside this, you also had six more pigeons in the first 50. In total, seven pigeons in the first 50 international. Yes, that's true. And this is an unbelievable result. Yes, two, two uh, grandchildren of Silke are also in the first 50. Yes. You fly both partners? Normally, uh, I fly also with uh, the, the cock, with the partner, but uh, especially Silke. I want uh, to have her partner at home. <laughs> so, yes. ah, so you had one feeling, pre-feeling, yeah? Yes. That's or maybe, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so she was the only one raised? Uh, no, two other, uh, two other one. Yes. And the other two are in the first? Yes, the, the second one, yes. Ah, uh, also. Yeah. Yeah. So you knew. Yeah. Good. And the grandchildren that raised? In the win Barcelona now in the first 50. Yes, are from the same pair. I mean, no, he's from, from another other pair. Yes, from he, uh, from a, a son of Silke. But two, I mean, two grand Silke was also always paired with this cock. No, 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 no. no, no. The second year. Tell tell us a, a bit about how did you prepare for the race in terms of treatments? Uh, did you test it? For no, all, I have always the same system for for well, 20 years. In winter, I give them vaccinations against pyromyxo and paratyphus. And uh, in spring, I treat them against worms and akint lysis. And in the beginning of May, I treat them four days from trichomonas, which is only the salt in the water. And that's the only time I put something in the water. The other 361 days in the year, nothing in the water, nothing over the footer and, and that I, I control them by microscope if they have trichomonas and when they have trichomonas I give them a pill against trichomonas this time I checked every 34 pixels for Barcelona I checked them by microscope and two have trichomonas and that, the two I treat with one pill and that was it and silky was not a no, no 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 my, my uh, third pixel I saw, and uh, um, the other one I didn't see again. No. I didn't arrive. Didn't arrive. And in terms of supplements, did you do something? No, I no, never give supplements through the water and uh, over the footer. Never. Only I give them in, in the basket. I give them uh, minerals like Vitalit and uh, Vitalit and Vispimin. And Belfi men from uh, from Bayes. So everything can, you control can, from they, the food. They can choose them by themselves. I believe a pigeon has the instinct to take what he needs. When they have youngsters, they need other minerals than when they have eggs, and they choose it by themselves. And the others are regulated in their body through the food. You don't add supplements, but no. everything they take from the food what they need, the nutrients. Yeah, they take from the food. And the minerals, I give them Vitalit and Vispermin. And about the food, was there something special that you did? I know that you use... Uh, yeah, I, I use only food from uh, Bayes. And uh, I make my own mixture. I have two mixtures, normal mixtures I give every day in the year. And I have an extra energy mixture. And I always play with the two mixtures. Uh, Four days before basking, I gave them a lot of energy mixture, a lot of, uh, as much as they want to have. I okay. put a little basket uh, near by the, the nest, so they can eat from the nest, can eat uh, as much as they want. Four days before basking a, a marathon race, I give them food 
near the nest and lots of food in the central uh, basket. Four times a day I give them new food as much as they want to, to have. And these are the minerals? Yeah. So once you have this? Yes, every day and this I put uh, Vitalit and Fispimin and Belfimin put in the, in the basket. The pigeon know self the best what's, uh, what she needs. Yes. And, and now it? I put a special light, daylight, till uh, 11 in the evening and morning, 5 o'clock. And the start. It's white? White light, uh, yes. White. Daylight, they call it. Tell us, did how did you train your entire team? How did you prepare your entire team? Because we know that you target different races and Barcelona yes. is the most important one. Yeah. Uh, did you do something special? I know that you didn't race other important uh, and big races with this team for Barcelona. How do you uh, I, manage them? Uh, I manage this as a colony, uh, as a whole team. This, uh, they train the same. Just every day they can fly out. Free training, I call it, but most of the time they don't fly. They're sitting near the river. And they are over three years old birds, or what kind of pigeons would you put inside this team? Uh, in Barcelona, only uh, three years and older. The, the other pigeons go to, uh, to other races. The yearlings go to uh, Bordeaux, Aachen, and that's uh, 1,040 kilometers. And maybe I sent uh, a few to Narbonne, 1,100 kilometers. Yeah. So over the years you have like a system and they have different barriers. As yearlings they have to cross the first barrier, yes. then the second uh, one. As youngsters, as youngster they must have to do uh, 500 km. And as yearling, uh, one, may, most of the time, two times 1000 km. As two year old in the normal season, three times. Over 1000. Yeah, over 1,000, 1,100 kilometers, three times. And then when they're three years and older, then they Barcelona and Perpignan. And when you complete this Barcelona team, did they have to have good results before? Or if they return, then they go on the next uh, yeah. step, they do the... Yeah, the next year they go also. It doesn't matter if one pigeon did nothing as yearling, uh, two oh, years. Yes, I always, if he succeeds uh, to return, always, then you put always, it... I always selecting when, when they're not uh, successful as yearling. But yearlings, I, I don't select very hard. But when they are as yearling, they can be not so good. And as two year old, then they must uh, show they are, are good. And how would you describe the selection? They have to win the race, to no. win, win like to be in the first 10 percent, or yes, uh, when they are two years old, they must one time in the first 10 percent or so. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Otherwise, they are yes. totally eliminated. Yes. When they are two or three times too late, then uh, they go out. Yes. And but when they get into their third year, then they only have to race Barcelona. So no, Barcelona and Perpignan, two races. But, but the team for Barcelona yeah, but only went. No, but this year is another year. This year, there's one week between Barcelona and Perpignan. Uh, In a no Corona year, then you have Barcelona, and four weeks later Perpignan, and then you can race both. I see. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Okay. So only yeah. this year was a special year. This year was special year. They do only Barcelona. No and more, right? in a normal year, a normal they would year. do the same: 150 mm. up to 400 yes. kilometers. Yes. Yes. And then Barcelona and then is Barcelona, the big one. And then uh, four weeks later, Papillon. You need uh, pigeons with talent. Youngsters, I don't bring them one kilometer or five. Directly 100 kilometer. Then the talented pigeons uh, come back. And you need pigeons with talent. When they come from Barcelona, they must have talent to come home. Oh, but she's so beautiful. Now it's more beautiful. Yeah, of course. <laughs>